Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. Oh, say it with me again. Welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. Oh, it feels so good to say that. You have no idea. Uh, if you watch the marathon upload, I know some people comment on like, oh my goodness. And I was like, uh, uh, some things got messed up, but I think overall the marathon upload went okay. But hopefully we'll never have to do a marathon upload again because I'm on top of things. On a schedule, I'm all good. I'm strong. Misha's right here. I'm petting her right now. She didn't expect it. She was licking her foot. But she likes it now, so she's okay. Um, real fast, we're going to start the guest today game again revamp it. I know May was kind of the month to do that, but I don't have to tell you things got hectic. <laughs> but details are down in the description for the guest the date game. I'm actually going to flesh it out a little bit more so I don't have to like um, take so much time in the beginning. And also, uh, don't forget to vote for the character of the week. That's another thing that I'm going to resurrect from the good ideas Carly has, but then doesn't follow through with. I feel like if you've watched this channel enough, though, you you already know that. But the nominations, the character of the week, this of the week, that of the week, it's not Something that's come and gone since the beginning of this channel so I'm hopefully I'll bring it back and now I have a board to put it up on so I mean if that's not exciting I don't know what's exciting anyway I think it's safe to say that May 25th is my favorite episode of Gemma Hospital thus far so let's get right to it because I'm just gonna keep screaming and yelling and just being happy if you have headphones in I'm warning you right now because there's probably gonna be a lot of ah! but louder. Okay, let's get right to it. Intro. Oh, and also I'm breaking this down by sections because since everyone's in like one place and they keep switching around everyone, it's just a lot easier and easier to follow if I break it down by scene sections of, you know, the commercial breaks than how I normally do. So let's get right to it. Enough of this. I know you're like, Carly, you said it's the best episode. That. Let's talk about it. I'm so ready to talk about it. Okay. Whew. Intro. Jason gets information on the Chimera from Griffin. Uh, Dylan and Diane, uh, Diane seems to be talking to him about something. I think she was supposed to sub in for Kiki, but like there's something going on there. I kind of missed the first five, uh, not even, I missed like the first minute or so of this one because there was just technical weirdness, but I, I got it. I got it. Uh, Anna is outraged at Valentine for selling the Chimera to Helena Cassidyne. Charlotte and Emma are about to open the Chimera. Lucy needs Ava backstage to present the donation because since Jake pulled out of the show, they have dead air that she needs to fill. Sonny tells Carly he has answers about Morgan. Someone tampered with his medicine. Oh, and I feel bad for all the Ava fans here because, like, I don't know what this is going to mean for Ava, but, like... Ooh. <laughs> Section one. Outside the ball, Olivia and Ned arrive. Uh, they're late, and her dress is gorgeous. There's like kind of a floral um, accent here, and it's like the Stark dress. I love it. Uh, he, uh, Ned, thinks that she has somewhat of stage fright because she's joining him for his act this year. It's gonna be their act. <sighs> Uh, backstage, Valentine says that he was on the run and he needed the money, and he's sure the Chimera isn't a threat to anyone. Meanwhile, Emma and Charlotte almost open the Chimera and Jake stops them. So, wouldn't that- I don't want anything to happen to kids. I don't want anything to happen to anyone. But, like, could you imagine if Charlotte is the one that gets hurt by this? I mean, imagine what that would do to Valentine. Seriously. At the nurse's ball, Curtis got a room for him and Jordan for the night. Uh, Lucy has dead air to fill, so it has to be Ava that fills it. Uh, but Ava doesn't want to call attention to herself. You should have thought of that before you had this idea. Sonny tells Carly about the residue from the placebo at the bottom of the pill bottle. He was taking, Morgan was taking his medicine. He just wasn't getting any lithium. Olivia and Ned, it's time for their performance. Ava is worried in the corner. And Ava, um... Olivia and Ned, they're singing, uh, Gotta Have Faith, mm, mm, mm. and have I ever heard Olivia sing? I'm not sure, but she's really good. Uh, they did, the sh they showed up literally right on time since they just had to hop on stage. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Again, my commentary cannot fully make, like, encapsulate the performances so if you have a chance to go on the Facebook and watch the clips they're posting of the performances I highly urge that you do so. Section 2. Backstage Anna thinks Valentine should have told the Bureau and Valentine tells her that she can search Cassidyne Island and destroy the Chimera. Since he owns Cassidyne Island he gives her full permission to go dig whatever up, go wherever you want, the island just is your oyster, like go for it. And uh, she, uh, he's going to go find Nina now. That's what's important to him. Nina walks in on Jake being mean to Charlotte and Emma. He even pushes Charlotte. Charlotte's kind of scared and, like, runs into uh, Nina and, like, 
you know, kind of hugs her. And then Lulu comes in and asks what's going on at uh, nurse's ball. Which is like the ballroom. I should like this is all the nurses' ball, but like when I say that, I mean like in the ballroom. Uh, Dylan tells Ned and Olivia they did great, and Ned asks where Kiki is. Uh, Kiki's working, if you um, don't know. Uh, Jordan thinks Curtis jumped the gun a little bit with this room, and Curtis thinks that this is real. Uh, this is really about her not being sure that he's good enough for her. Anna interrupts Andre to speak to him. Uh, she asks about the Chimera project, and Liz is like, um, "Did you say Chimera?" Pretty much. Carly doesn't understand how the pill bottle got to the floating rib. And Sunny says Lucy was with Ava that night. And Carly goes to talk to her. But Sunny's like, no, 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 no. Not before we're sure. Like, we, we need more information. At General Hospital, Kiki is needed in the supervisor's office. Section 3. Outside the ball, Sunny and Carly take Lucy aside. Sunny asks her what she was doing the night at the floating rib with Ava. So Lucy's like... Okay, because <laughs> she's not going to lie. She's at, They're asking right to her face. Like She's not going to lie because I think uh, as much as Lucy's been withholding, she hasn't wanted to be withholding. So Lucy says Ava and Morgan were sleeping together again right before the accident. That's how Ava ended up with Morgan's pills. Lucy says she saw Ava throw away the pills in the alley, and Lucy thought it was suspicious. So she looked, she found the pills, and they are like, what day is it? And she's like, October blah 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 well it was 10 days after Morgan died so Lucy says Ava confessed to sleeping with Morgan again and Ava convinced her not to say anything because Sonny and Carly were already in enough pain and Kiki was in enough pain and there was no reason to make everybody now go into another level of pain but Sonny says look Lucy none of this is your fault you could stop apologizing seriously it's not your fault so Lucy she can't stop apologizing though and she takes her leave so it was Ava all along and Scott hears Carly and Sunny come to that realization. It's happening, guys. In the ballroom, Jordan says that this is about her past. She can't stop thinking about Thomas, and she would almost feel like she's betraying him all over again by being with Curtis. Jason gives Anna the necklace, and he asks the significance, and she says she can't. It's highly classified. Nobody here has clearance. But Jason tells her what's been happening with Jake and Cassidine Island, and Andre tells her to tell them they have a right to know, so she tells them about the Chimera Project. It was illegally sold to Helena Cassidine. Is it possible that Jake saw it when he was held captive? And Jason asks where it is now. And Anna says they don't know. That's what she's trying to figure out. Backstage, Nina tells Lulu the kids were having a disagreement. Lulu asks Charlotte what's wrong. And, like, Nina stops her. It's not like Nina, and Lulu was even, like, grabbing for anything. She just, like, kind of went down and be like, hey, Charlotte, like, to talk to Charlotte. Like, you know, she's a human being. And Nina's like, no, no, no. And Lulu's like, um, I, I don't think that's your call anymore but like in a less sassy way because charlotte's right there but not that much less sassy uh, so then valentine steps in with charlotte and emma makes them feel better go get ice cream and go you know this that and the other thing gets them on track and then lulu uh, takes jake to be with elizabeth no problem here uh, nina was looking for valentine the song meant the world to her so remember like one video again ago when I was like, I won't blame her if she gets back with him. Well, that faded over the 24 hours from when I saw this episode. Oh, it wasn't. I saw yesterday's episode this morning. I saw this one this afternoon. So only like five hours passed and I was like, nope, I rescind what I said. Uh, but Dylan is all dressed up in costume. It's like this nerdy costume. And Kiki is there. Time to perform. Because he was freaking out because he's like, where's Diane? She was supposed to sub for Kiki, but Kiki's here. <gasps> It's a surprise. So then Scott runs backstage to tell Ava that Sunny knows everything. Uh, back in the ballroom, Dylan and Kiki perform a, a church on time song. I've never heard this song before in my life. Uh, there's this awesome saxophone solo, a quick change by Dylan. So now he's like all fashionable and it's just a lot of fun and I'm happy. They're happy. We're all happy. I, again, another performance I urge you to go look up on uh, the the Facebook if they put it up. Section four, um, outside the ball, uh, Carly wonders why Ava would w mess with Morgan's pills. Then uh, Kiki and Dylan walk by and they're all happy. Happy and oh, oh, Dylan. Pretend there's a Dylan here, okay? And then Carly's like, oh, it all makes sense. She wanted Morgan away from Kiki. Like, this is why our son died, basically. Uh, backstage, Nina says they'll, you know, her and Valentine, let's see how the night goes and take it from there. And I was like, oh, so close, but so far. You almost have to wonder if Lulu right there at that time kind of made her one way or another, you know? 
like territory wise. Uh, Dylan and Kiki come backstage. It was a surprise for Dylan for Kiki to be there. Diana covered for her for an hour so she does have to go right back to work and because Diana is in the finale. And Dylan offers to go back to the hospital with her. Uh, also backstage Scott tells Ava that Carly and Sonny know about the pills and she was there the night of the robbery. They've put all it together and Ava is like panicking and she's like no 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 no. Maybe she only said it once but I heard it three times. Uh, at back in the ballroom Curtis tells Jordan that she's a good person and worked hard to get past no Curtis tells Jordan oh yeah he's like you're a good person you worked hard to get past everything he understands how she's feeling uh, but gives her the key card to the room just in case she changes her mind no pressure but he'll be there till like 10 8 p.m. and he will feel that she's not ready to accept this if she doesn't show up uh, Carly and Sonny walk back in to find Ava Lucy is introducing Ava to come to the stage and she's a no-show so Carly and Sonny are like oh she knows she knows we got to find her because she knows backstage Carly and Sonny rush backstage and Sonny grabs Scott and asks where Ava is Jake is uh, having a Helena hallucination and nor is she there. I don't see how she could get in there. So we're just going to go with hallucination, but it's Helena Cassidine. So she might just straight up be a ghost. I don't know. <laughs> and Jake, she's saying that Jake didn't keep up his end of the bargain. So I was like, oh, is that why Helena Cassidine finally freed him? So he'd release the chimera was like that the, the bargain that he could go back to his family if he does this. But then... She was dying, but she could straight up be haunting him. Like, I... Nothing is out of the realm of possibility. Remember that one time they tried to bring vampires back? You remember that. I mean, I know they didn't, like, totally go there, but they went there. You know, they went there. Anyway, um, outside the ball, Ava is on her way out. Dylan and Kiki run into her. Ava tells her that she's really proud of her, and she's relieved that Kiki's happy. That's all she ever wanted, and she hugs Kiki, and she says her goodbyes in her way. Section 5. In uh, the room at the Metro Court, Curtis is in the room. It's 10-10, so he gives up. He goes to leave, and Jordan is at the door. Backstage, Sunny throws Scott into the wall. Scott denies all the things they're saying about the pills. Carly threatens to get Bobby in here so he can lie to her face and Scott's like okay 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 um Ava is making a getaway she'll be gone for good Helena tells Jake he knows uh what he knows what he has to do perform his magic trick make all of part make all of Port Charles disappear or freeze it <laughs> 80s reference that I wasn't here for and in some mystery room that I'm pretty sure is off the pier somewhere Ava is somewhere dark with bars it autocorrected to bats again well I'm sure there's at least one bat in there okay iPhone I'll give it to you and she lights a lantern like a, an oil lantern so a kerosene so like you know it's I don't know it's weird so she's in a room by the pier I think I already said that uh, she pulls crates from like the back wall and has a go bag stashed with passports and money okay I have to start like searching piers for money like ugh, who just keeps I'm not even gonna say it at the nurse's ball J Liz is afraid that Jake will be scarred for life from whatever Helena did and now end scene it's like oh today's end scene you know how long it's been since I presented today's end scene? Scott tells Dante that Sonny attacked him, and Dante's like, all right, well, let me go with you. What's going on? Apparently, it's finale time. I, like, is it just me, or did the nurses' ball used to last, like, a solid week? Like, it was, like, three days, and even the first day, it was only, like, the last ten minutes or so. Like, I don't know, it just seems so short. And, you know, Lucy thanks everyone for being so generous, the nurses and um, a special guest. They sing hallelujah. All the nurses are up on stage. There's a TV in the middle of the stage and lots of white candles. So I'm like, okay. Um, Robin had filmed something. Uh, so she's on the screen. She's talking about her diagnosis and thanking everyone for their generosity and the research. And because of, you know, people like them, you know, she's able to live her life, you know. And, you know, it's a fight that they'll win one day. And then Phil Felix and Diana sing. Amy sings. Um, meanwhile, they kind of do the thing where so hallelujah is going and then it's cutting to other scenes. Ava is packing a gun. Sonny and Carly find her. Uh, more. Oh, wait. That was really important. I'm, like, glossing over it. Uh, so Ava is packing a gun and Sonny and Carly find her. That's how I meant to say it. Also, Jordan and Curtis are getting really, really close, if you know what I mean. Uh, more hallelujah. Most everyone has a candle and comes on stage uh, Jake comes from backstage and he tells Elizabeth he's ready to do his magic trick well too late kid we're singing hallelujah everyone has the white candles and it's over <laughs> I don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you so 
I have a few thoughts. Overall, one of the best nurses balls. I loved it. Um, you know, maybe one or two more performances, but overall, I absolutely loved it. I have one thing though. I have one thing. And I love that Ava is getting her just desserts. I like that how they lined it up with this. I, I will forgive the length of time it took to get here because of that. But I have one thing. So I thought it's about Sabrina. And I know a lot of people, so I know I mentioned her in the first one, uh, in the first video for this. Uh, because I, I thought that maybe there'd be like, you know, since it's the Sabrina song, maybe at the end of it, just like show a picture of her and like, whatever. And then at the end with the hallelujah on the screen, I thought, oh, well, this is where they'll honor Sabrina. But then they didn't. So I can understand not doing it at the front because, you know, obviously she was murdered. It's extremely sad. Like, you don't want it to start off like that. But, and I know the nurse's ball isn't all about her. Like, it's not all about Sabrina. And I'm acknowledging that. But Sabrina is the one that resurrected the nurse's ball. If it was any other nurse, I, I don't think I'd be feeling, like, quite this... Uh, not angry. It's it's just and not like upset. Like it's a show. Like I'm. It's just she's the one who resurrected it. There would be no nurses ball today if like three or so years ago Sabrina hadn't attempted and succeeded in bringing it back. Lucy Co would have never come back to Port Charles if it wasn't for Sabrina. And just for there to be no mention of her at all and she was a big part of the nurses ball when they had them for the past few years so it's just for there to be no mention at all not even at the end with like a quick thing they had the tv there just to put her um picture up when and felix could have been singing like that's his best friend she was an integral part she got her job back at general hospital at the end she worked there a majority of the time she was on the show it was just for like maybe a year less than a year she didn't and it just it just bothers me that there was no mention of her at all the whole ball so that's the only real issue i have with this year's nurses ball uh, otherwise perfect without a hitch they broke the um lucy tradition unless it you know it's i guess there's still time for it to happen we have tomorrow's episode even though the ball is over you, you never know but yeah that's a did anyone else like just expect something Sabrina wise at the end, just a little bit. Like I again, no, it's not all about her. Just something or like a thank you, Sabrina Santiago, for doing what you did to bring the nurses ball back all those years ago. Like I don't know, I just felt like there should have been something. But that's just me. I'll stop now. I'll move on. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's Drama Hospital recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Oh my goodness, am I at the beginning of the video now? What is happening to me? <laughs> I'm Macaulay Culkinning. Uh, but uh, make sure you vote for Character of the Week, and we will resurrect the uh, Guest of Day game like right now. Now, go for it, and I will see you tomorrow for more Drama Hospital, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!